support. We need to progress with either submission or to attack. So if you keep this back on the floor, I mean, this two ways that we can try to take the back, but you know, maybe we're trying to submit or to smash, right? So usually, either the person is just defending, he's not moving much, because he's not opening himself, or he's trying to, to escape. Every time the person trying to move, your priority is to establish the, the, your control, right? So, you know, for you to progress, you have to make sure you're in control. Because if you try to progress, then you, you're not in control, that's when you lose that position. That's where it is. So in the side control, if the person trying to escape, if you feel you dominated him, then you can attack. But when he, when he, for him to, to try to move, he open up, right? If you don't move, you're not giving anything. The moment they're trying to push, you just move your arms away from your neck, you know, you're you separating your arms from your body, you, now the person has a better chance of attacking. So, side control, then you have to open the person's defense. This is his defense, his arm. And the legs will defend, maybe when you're trying to mount. Right? So, the priority is always the arm. If you can dominate, if you, if you can, if I can separate your arms from your body, now I can catch you. So, for me to catch your arm, I need to physically bring your arm. And then I have a chance, you know, attacking American Kimura Nando. So, as long as the arm is in, I cannot attack. As long as the arm is defending the knife, I cannot get there. I need to open up and then I go for the next. So, I personally don't like to lock my arm because that locks my body on me. Like I need to be more violent, I need to move around so my arms are always, my head are never really connected. So, I like to place my body as much over my opponent as I can because the more I use my body to pin him, the more my arms can be relaxed and the more I can use them to attack. The less and the further down I am, so that my body is not really pinning, I have to compensate by holding him with my arms. Because he's trying to move, he's trying to push. So I, I don't want to use my arms to keep myself, you know, to, to, to hold him, to dominate him. I want to make sure I use my body. So leaning over is very important. And I try to keep my hips as high as I can, so now my arms are free. So now I'm, I'm not hands more on the floor because my weight goes into my arm and then my weight goes on me. So then I don't, you know, I don't want to keep my hands close because now I'm, my body is stuck to his body. It's, like, it's, it's very limited, my, my mobility here and what I can do. So, but I keep usually my hands on the shoulders because everybody push, everybody trying to escape, everybody trying to turn, and that's how I keep our body close together. It was, Push is strong, but I can push, and push, and then suddenly you're out. Because you completely disconnect me from you. So especially the hand that my arm is under, most, most of the time, the hand is on the shoulder. This one, if I need, I go to the other shoulder. Or if you start coming towards me, and then I usually go for the follow, because now you cannot turn. The body cannot turn that way, because this one. So, yeah, follow and shoulder. It gives me a very good control to, you know, to keep yeah. him on, uh, to, to, to pin him down. Because if you try to turn the other way, my hand goes into the arm. And as long as I'm controlling the arm, you know, the body cannot rotate. So those, my hand to the shoulder and the ball, always around this area in case I need to try to control him. But as long as my body is like right over him, it's not that easy for him to, to rotate. And the legs, it's try to think the same like when, you know, when people shoot for the legs when you sprawl. The guys try to take you down. So you need to completely establish it, the strongest base you can so he won't turn your body. So being on top, the idea is the same. Can I sprawl with my legs close together? I go down very easy. My legs are always very spread. He cannot move me from side to side. So now I have a, a, a better base on top of him. So usually my legs, they, they always, spread out because now my body is, is well positioned and my arms are free to attack then i have the hand on his shoulder it's a lot of the times when he's trying to push i hold the other shoulder if i want to crush his arm i turn and you turn the body and you bring him right on top of his arm now you crush him his arm together he has you know no room to, to move so if the person is really 
board, especially if I'm if I'm fighting against a strong guy, they, they use the arms to push a lot. Like a powerful person is always pushing. So then it becomes up my, my body fighting against his arm. Like I say, as long as I keep my hands on his shoulder or in the collar, he can push, but he cannot get out. And he can always raise the guard and he cannot come from side to side. And I keep my body relaxed when he pushes. I let my body go. So like I don't try to, to resist myself to stay here because I have to use a lot of power in my arm. So if you push in that hole, then it becomes a power shoulder. So my arms, I'm not trying to hold myself with him. So when he pushes, all I need is my, my arms connected to his shoulder. I'm not pulling, but he cannot push me away now. Because just by keeping my hand on his shoulder, it's a connection to him. He cannot break that just by pushing. Because my arms are there. And when he pushes, he push, and then if I feel when he's trying to move, I push myself over, and I turn, and he push the person's arm, and then position myself right on top, the hand is still on his shoulder, legs very spread. They're going to constantly try to push, now the arms are getting tired. You know, so when they're trying to push, I let him push, and I keep my arms relaxed, but keep placing my body over his arms. And then, I mean, he cannot do that for long. The person that uses the arms to create a lot. I mean, you used to be able to burn himself out. You, know, you always want to use your body against the person. So, that's a quite few things that I like to do. So usually, you know, the person who, you see, let's say he's, he's not opening himself, but the arm's not going around the other side. You see what about the defense? You know, the defense is his arm. So now, I'm going to control the shoulder. Now I'm going to bring my head sort of almost on top of his head, because I want my shoulder is right on the edge of his elbow. I want to slide towards his wrist. Because now I'm gonna my my feet are gonna push me. And then he cannot, his arm cannot resist my body. Because I wanna push the arm that direction. And when I place my shoulder towards his wrist and I start pushing from my legs, my arms are not moving, I'm just holding. This is not happening. It's my body is being pushed forward. My arms are completely relaxed. Because now he has two options. Or he's going to, you know, he's going to resist, but he will, his arm is going to go to the floor. Or he's going to bring his hand over to the other side. Because he, he might be threatened that if I bring his arm to the floor. So now I don't want to go there, but now I can trap his arm. Because in case he tries to bring his hand back, <coughs> he has to bring it in front of my head. And then I can try to get the sticky more. Or, if he brings the hand on the other side, he, let's say he keeps his hand there, he just opens up the kimura. Now I can start switching my arm, my, my body and attacking the kimura. If he keeps the hand there, I'm gonna keep the arm tight. So my, I want his arm on the other side. So I, I'm kind of using my, my head. If he try to bring the hand across, I put my head on the floor. So I don't want the hand in the hand. Because he just I cannot attack kimura. And it's very difficult for me to physically do that with his hand. That's not really gonna happen. So when he starts to feel I'm pushing his hand, he hides. Now, I just grab the arm, then I go on my knees. I bring my elbow and my knees very close together. And now, uh, I turn again. I start going lower with my body because I really want the arm trapped. So I'm not, see my body's not high because he's, no, see that? His arm is very loose. The moment that I go lower, my elbow locks his arm. So move the arm. There's no space for his arm to move. And then when I start turning, I have a very good humor attack. So let's start with that one. Again, the person is defending. So hands on the shoulder. The first thing, over. Right your leg. So one leg straight, so my body is turning. The focus of my attack is on his upper body. So my body turns this way. The focus of my attack is on his legs. So that leg goes down and then I open up the other one. Then it's the opposite, because now my body turns the other side. I turn, get, you know, get your partner to, to push. 
Keep your arms relaxed, let it push, push, stay on top. Here, set him to turn away from you, give him some space. Bring the hand from the shoulder to the middle of his arm. You know, let, get, get, get to turn that way with his arm, he cannot. And then get him to turn towards you. He starts turning, and, and this is not on the neck, I want his face. You see, my elbow's right up because he cannot turn the head now. <coughs> I want to stop the head turning, the body will not, will not fall. And that way, you can, you know, you can take your time, maintain him on this position. So now, hand on the shoulder, bring your, your shoulder towards his wrist. See, I completely turn my body this way. So my shoulders to the edge of his, to his elbow. When I turn, he goes in. Now, let's say he doesn't do anything. I pin the arm on the floor. This will be your next attack, but let's not. Let's stop here. Let's say he's gonna be hide the hand because the arm here is very vulnerable, right? To know what he likes to have his hand on the floor that way, so he will hide. Because now it's behind me. So he kind of has the feeling that he's hiding his arm, his, his arm is safe. But now, he just opened up the Kimura. So I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna go on my knees, and I want elbows and knees close together. Because now I need, I need space to attack. If I'm pinning him down, I have no space. And I'm, you know, my body's stuck because I'm sprawling. I don't have a lot of mobility. So when I go on my knees and elbow, so now I have zero weight on him, but now I have a lot of space to move. And you want to start lower, especially my elbow that's on the head. I'm going to go under my arm and I'm going to slide lower and I'm going to bring my elbow close to his body. If my elbow's away from his body, Sometimes he can pull his arm out, but his, his arm, I can feel, there's a lot of movement on his arms. When I bring the elbow in, now his arm is trapped. He has no movement. Now I switch my legs. I turn, because now his arm is right in front of me. He's, he's right against my body. If I was to be further back, his arm is very loose. So when I go lower, especially keeping the elbow in, his arm is trapped now. There's no way for him to go much. I grab, a lot of the times, I open my elbow up and I get the arm lock. If you keep your elbow down, I mean, if I put his hand on the floor, I can go for Kimura, I go on my knees, step over his head. But if I can keep the elbow in and he's not holding anything, this is a straight arm lock. Or for the Kimura, you go. step, take his back. Floor. Okay. Hey guys, any questions?